Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to teach you a very nice and wonderful lesson which is related to adverbs. Adverbs. We are going to teach you how to use adverbs of manner in sentences. Are we together? Fantastic. But before giving you this lesson, please allow me to give you three announcements. Only three announcements. The first announcement is this one. Try your best to subscribe if you've got this channel for the first time. Try your best to subscribe. That is the first announcement. The first thing that I want to tell you. The second, please, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful and handsome students, try your best to share our lessons to as many people as possible if you want this channel to go far. Nibusha kako iyi channel igera kure. Gerageza mu byukuri woherereze inshuti nabavandimwe aya masomo. Uyaboherereze aho bari hose. The third announcement please is this one. If you want to be rich in English if you want to get knowledge and skills in English, if you want to develop your level in English language, if you love English so much, please try your best to buy this English Kinyarwanda book and these regular and irregular verbs that are translated from English to Kinyarwanda and French. Nibushaka mu byukuri kuzamura levo yawe nibukunda icyongereza. If you love yourself, niba wikunda ubwawe. If you love English so much, ukabukunda icyongereza neza. Nibushaka kuzamura levo yawe. If you want to develop your level, gura ibi bitabo. Ndakugira inama yo kugura ibi bitabo kuko dufite n'ikindi. Ibi bitabo rero mu byukuri bigiye kuva kuri promotion tujiye kubishyira ku giciro kiri hejuru wabigura ubu ngubu bikigurika nice good then now uh, we are going to teach you the lesson the first the first step or something that is the first that we are going to start with is this one we are going to start our lesson from this word which is clumsy clumsy what is the meaning of clumsy clumsy means clumsy. This person is very clumsy. This person is clumsy. Huh? Your cousin is clumsy. Your cousin is clumsy. That is an example. <laughs> yes. Then when you talk about someone who is clumsy, clumsy person, no moon. A clumsy person, no moon. Yes, that is uh, that person is called. A clumsy person. Clumsy. Good. Uh, these people are clumsy. Uh, good. Then you are going to complete the following sentences using the adverbs of manner. Ujiye gufata is the adverbs of manner. Ziri hano. Then you complete the following sentences that are here. No, no. Uzuze inhero ziri hano kuruhand. On my left side. This is my left side. This is my right side. Yes. Here on my right side. I have uh, the adverbs of manner like heavily, beautifully, intelligently, arrogantly, smartly, carefully, clumsily, and angrily. Ang and angrily. Angrily. Then you are going to try your best to take these adverbs of manner. Then you complete these sentences by using the adverbs of manner that are there. Are we together? Does it make sense? Fantastic. Good. Then, first of all, we are going to explain what is the meaning of heavily. Eh? Heavily. Eh? It, is, it is raining heavily. Heavily means Bivakuri heavy. Heavily. Heavily. Yes. Then bivakuri heavy. Good. Beautifully. Muburjo Beautifully, intelligently, 
eh? yabikoze intelligently yabikoze gihanga mu buryo bwa gihanga mu buryo bw'ubwenge buri mu bwenge that is intelligently arrogantly arrogantly ni mubwirasi ushobora kuvuga kuti ari kugenda yirata she is walking arrogantly eh? ingendo ye iri mu bwirasi ari kugenda yirata mm? she is walking arrogantly then here smartly smartly ni mu buryo bwiza buri smart eh? these people are speaking english smartly abantu bari kuvuga icyongereza mu buryo bumeze neza cyane eh? these people are dressing up smartly aba bantu mu byukuri barimo kwambara ne neza cyane then that is smartly Carefully ni mu buryo bw'ubwitonzi for example i can say uh, i always watch pan lessons carefully nkunda kureba amasomo ya pan mu buryo bwiza bw'ubwitonzi si nkubuka ntabwo ndeba ya masomo mubuka carelessly cyangwa se ntayitayeho i watch them carefully good then here clumsily ni mu buryo bwo guhubuka bwa gihubutse for example here you can say yesterday he was doing his job clumsily eje rabi gukora kazi ke ahubuka cyane na prozi mwa zitari ya izinda ya kuzitorari ya clumsily eh clumsily yesterday he was teaching clumsily eje yigisha gahubuka Eh aho yashize eni yakaye hakura aho yakoze ibi clumsily nice then angrily ni mu buryo bw'umujinya mwinshi eh i talked to him angrily navuganye nawe mfite umujinya angrily then here you are going to complete these sentences by using the, the by using the adverbs of manner that i have already explained to you is the adverbs of manner na gusobanuriye gerageza uzikoresha hanga complete these sentences the first sentence mary is very careful mary is very careful mary aritonda cyane she drives her car carefully nice yes yeah she drives her car carefully imodoka yitwara nubwitonzi bwinshi she drives her car carefully then here we are going to omit or to drop this carefully we are going to 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 to, to drop it ubu carefully ivuye ivuyemo tuyikuyemo kuko tuyikoreye next yes then the second the second example is this one My, stud- my students are very smart. My students are very smart. They always dress up. They always dress up smart smartly. Eh, igihe cyose bambara neza kuko bari smart. Iyo bagiye kwambara rero. Ha. Barabemeza. My students are very smart. They always dress up to dress up. Igihe cyose bambara neza then you are going to put smartly because we have smart people here they are smart but smart na abantu beza bafitisuku basobanutse they always dress up smartly niyo mpamvu igihe cyose bambara nyine smartly buryo kibambara how do they dress up bambara bate they dress up smartly wow does it make sense fantastic good then here we have this one jen is an arrogant girl She speaks arrogantly. Arrogantly. Eh, kina kigukoreye. Kugira ngo utaza kubona zero hano. Ariko nta wabona zero yari zisomo rya mbere. Yes, she speaks arrogantly. Nice. Then let us go to the the fourth sentence. My niece is intelligent. My niece is intelligent. She answers her teacher She answers her teacher intelligently. Intelligently. Fantastic. Giza cyane. Asubiza mwarimu we nubwenge bwinshi amusubiza nyubwenge ubuhanga. She answers her teacher intelligently because she is intelligent. 
Then tumaze gukorera intelligent. Yes, here intelligent. We have already finished uh, about it. Yes, we have already finished about smart, smartly and arrogantly. Then let us continue with the other sentences here. Number five. It was heavy rain. It was heavy rain. Yari mvura mubjukuri imeze nari chani. Yari mvura nyishi. It was raining heavily. Yes. It was raining he heavily. Now here, we are going to say that it was raining he heavily. E kuko yari mvura ikomeye. Mvura nyishi yari likugwa nyine na none yariri kugwa mu buryo buteye ubwoba it was raining heavily eh yariri kugwa cyane heavily fantastic then let us continue number 6 here number 6 his father is clumsy isewe arahubuka papa warahubuka he does everything because here we have clumsy we are going to say he does everything clumsy Cla clumsy now we have covered, yes, heavy, kwairangije. Then after, kla, clumsy. Let us continue. Uh -huh. Number seven here. Jack was angry yesterday. Ejo Jack yarababai cha. Jack was angry yesterday. He did his exam. Yakozi chizami niche. Angrily. Angrily. Yajikora nyumujinya. He did his exam angrily. Turkuvigisha adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. Ingera zuburjo. Burjo chiyabi kozate. Yes. How did Jack do his exam? Let's say Jack yakozi chizamini chegute. He did his exam angrily. Yes. He did his exam angrily. Yajikura nyumujinya. Fantastic. Then here, angrily, we are done with it. Then uh, we are remained with the view. I think we are remained with this one. Beautifully. Let's see. This queen is beautiful. Uyumami kazi ni mngiza. She even smiles beautifully. Ndete ana mngenyo uranubgiza. Yes. She even smiles Beautifully, nice. Beautifully, yes. She even smiles beautifully. Does it make sense? Have you understood how to use adverbs of manner in sentences? Luko dukoresha adverbs of manner muhiru iyo tuvuga burjo chichi ni cha kozguemo. Wow. Very nice. Good. Then now we are going to give you the saying of today. The saying of today is related to love. In English we say, when your girlfriend wants your time and not your money, she loves you so much. When your girlfriend when your girlfriend wants your time and not your money, she loves you so much. Mujihe umukobga mukundana agushaka hijihe, ashaka kumuganira, ashaka hijihe chawe. Adashaka mafaranga yawe, abagukunda jana. When your girlfriend wants your time and not your money, she loves you so much. But when she wants your money and not your time, she doesn't love you. Try to break up with her immediately. But when she wants your money and not your time, she doesn't love you. Let's continue. Number 
break up with her immediately kitutandukana nawe akakanya kubera ko ya mafaranga na agenda ntabwo azabaki ntabwo uzaba umwungira no kuvugana n'ibyo jambo muvugana rimwe i thank you so much i am teacher jasper we are together bye bye